first thing we want to do to achieve these results is make a base effect stream. That's the stream that allows you to edit it so you can do all these cool things. Okay, so let's do that. Merv streams add base effects and we'll call it base. Okay, now to make sure that it was created properly, you can type in Merv streams print look up here and base is there. Okay, great. Now we want to preview it because we want to be able to see how all the commands we put in affects the base effect stream. Okay, so let's type in Merv streams preview and then base. Okay, now that we're previewing base, we can go ahead and put in our next command. All right, next one, Merv stream edit base, other particle action. Take a look at that fire to the left there. When we no draw it, boom, fire is gone. All right, aside from Molotov fire, this command also hides a bunch of other stuff. Okay, so take a look at this muzzle fire and the smoke that's coming off of the muzzle here, all right? Let's type that command in real quick. Merv streams, edit base, other particle action, no draw, and look, it's gone. And let's come over here real quick. You notice that there's nothing there, right? Well, that's because this command also hides smoke. So it does a lot of things. It hides a lot of different particles like fire, smoke. Yeah, it could be pretty useful if those things are getting in your shot and you don't want them there. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Huge shout out to my executive producers, Speedzor and Kurza. And also, big shout out to Icy. Thank you so much to all of my Patreon supporters. You guys make these tutorials possible. All right, I'll see you in the next tutorial.